este momento. Conservar la calma y evacuar de inmediato. Me voy a levantar y voy a evacuar. Incredible video there. Shaken to its core, dozens dead, buildings reduced to rubble, and people running for their lives after a 7.1 magnitude earthquake rattles Mexico City just hours ago. And the threat isn't over yet. Aftershocks have already been reported, and the images of the devastation are just starting to emerge. Thanks for choosing ABC 15. I'm Stephanie Hawkridge. And I'm Steve Irvin. Those who make it out finding themselves dazed and trying to find their way through the smoke and haze blanketing the streets. ABC 15's Nick Saletti monitoring the new information streaming in from the Satellite Center right now. And Nick, uh, the race is on to find survivors. Steve, Steph, here's what we know right now. At least 119 people have died so far in this earthquake. First responders, experts worried that number could skyrocket. Right now, it is a race to try to find people who could still be trapped inside buildings. Brand new drone video giving us a bird's eye view of the damage and destruction left behind after today's massive 7.1 earthquake in Mexico. On the ground, people covered in dust and debris finding safety outside this building that just collapsed. As the ground continues to shake, people inside this office building race to safety. Hanging lights inside this cafe, swaying back and forth as the ground pulsates. Outside, hundreds of people fill the streets. Nearby, dozens watch as the sheer force of the shaking pops the glass out of this window. It comes crashing to the ground. And during a live newscast, the anchor forced to get up and head to safety. Just look at those lights, shaking violently from above. Right now, around 4 million people are without power. Mexico City's airport, a major international hub, also shut down. And I should mention that airport in Mexico City just reopening in the last few moments. Now, I did reach out to ASU. They do have an exchange program there. We know one student is studying in Mexico City right now. The university has spoken to that student, and, and thankfully, they are doing okay right now. We're live tonight in the SAT Center. Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona. Thanks so much, Nick. We want to take you to some of the live news coverage coming in right now from Mexico City. This devastating earthquake coming on the 32nd anniversary of one of the deadliest ever to hit the city back in 1985. In fact, earlier in the day, they actually held earthquake drills across Mexico City just to prepare for something like this. And President Trump also sending his condolences to the country tonight, writing on Twitter, God bless the people of Mexico City. We are with you and will be there yeah. for you. Oh this my gosh. This is a bad idea to be on this boat. <laughs> Señores, me acaba de tocar el temblor. Ah, transformador. Se cayeron edificios. Se cayeron.